Only two eggs today? Paladis must have taken the day off. Seven, eight, nine, two, five, nine, oh, three, six, oh, seven, three, three, oh, five, three, oh, five, four, eight, eight, two, oh, four, six, six, five, two. What's the situation? I'm just inside the city limits. This place is crawling with lizards. Ah, AT Corps' unmanned bipedal weapons. Officially designated Irving by the US military. They've spread like wildfire among the PMCs. There are more of those things now in service than tanks. They've got tough armor plating and are highly agile to boot. Your best bet is to stay out of their sights. Unmanned. Pretty soon they'll have put living, breathing soldiers out of work. Even so, that's an awful lot of gecko for this scenario. Their numbers exceed the war price for that region. It must have something to do with Liquid's arrival on the scene. You really think he's here? You'll have to find the army's operatives and ask them yourself. Oh, and Snake, I went ahead and used the Mark II to scout out the area before your arrival. You'll find it up ahead. Mark II? It's a remote mobile terminal. Sonny and I built it. The Mark II will provide you with a map of the area as well as any battle situation data. You should find it before you do anything else. Okay, got it. The rendezvous point is marked on your map. I'll be waiting for you there. Hey, we got Octo Camo. This is how camouflage works in MGS4. You press up against a wall and you automatically gain the camo for that for that wall or same thing for on the ground and explain it, the stress meter we're seeing oh uh, there's a point I in to the, ask about there's a point in the video where I, I address that where I show okay. how that works and all that uh, you can stay make, tuned loyal viewer whoa. you can pick guys up get items from him as usual there I think there's yeah there's another dead guy Let's get him, because he's got extra stuff, and there's also another have ration. two right rations already. Dumbed down. Well, on hard mode, you can carry less rations. I think the max and hard three. is... Three. Three? Three rations. But, yeah. You know, you're solid for babies. Well, I try... I was originally going to play this on extreme, but there's a couple parts that... It, the game just literally comes down to just luck and nothing else. It, it's just out of your hands. All the items we have, well, we got the ration as usual. That's what it looks like. Check it out. We got cigarettes. It's the boss brand. <laughs> and we have an iPod. So did Bruce Springsteen, like, get involved with the game? Or? I don't know. Well, check this out. On the back is a 30 gigabyte iPod, which didn't exist, doesn't exist now, and didn't even exist... Well, the game was being made, like, got discontinued before then, but... I don't know. Snake appreciates the classics. Oh, well, yeah. He, he, he likes has... the... he likes the big... the big iPods. Surprised... I'm... Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that Snake can even comprehend what an iPod is. I'm pretty sure he carries fake Campbell around in the <laughs> iPod. So the iPod works like a real iPod. You use the right stick to move around. Let's play some music from it. Here's an orchestrated remix of like a bunch of different Metal Gear tunes. Let's play this over, nice. the, over the game. I think his 30 gig iPod is something Otacon brewed up for him. Probably. Man, these guys must be badass. They got a theme and a... Yeah. Everything. And the first song that plays is a remix of the music 
um, from the very first Metal Gear is when you were sneaking around Outer Heaven. It was pretty cool music. Also, the uh, camo index in the top right. If it ever, if the numbers ever change blue, that's because you're getting like bonus camouflage from like loud sounds around you or dust clouds. Also, you can, you can roll sideways while crawling now. Ooh. It's really helpful, actually. I like it. It's also it's like I'm in third grade all over again. <laughs> it's also faster than actually crawling. So if you want to get somewhere fast while crawling, you just roll everywhere. See, that's what you got to do for your one pack run. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> also, there's that uh, white circle around Snake. Uh, that's it's so shimmery. Instead of the AP sensor, they couldn't use that because the, the vibration function was gone from a lot of PS3 controllers. So it's like Snake's Sixth Sense and bumps around on the... Oh, sorry, guy. Bumps on the, the circle around Snake indicate where threats are. If, like, the bump turns solid white, that means the guy's, like, coming to investigate where you are. If it's yellow, it means the guy knows you're nearby. If it's red, it means the guy knows where you are and he's about to shoot you. The, the, okay. the taller and bigger the bump is, the bigger the threat is, which means multiple guys are like the, the cow robots. And there's also no radar. At L least later. Not now. But not right okay. now. Also, we have a stun knife, so instead of stabbing guys, we can just zap them. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how knives work. Well, it's... And it, it takes a second for it to recharge, but uh, CQC's back also. Yes. S dance with this guy for a little bit. I love the explanation for why CQC wasn't in the other games with Solid Snake. Yep. He'll, we'll get around to that eventually. And you can also just strangle guys now instead of having to drag them around. You can pick up guns dropped by both the militia and the PMCs. Congratulations for telling me I have hands, Otacon. <laughs> like all the other games, we can finally pick up the guns everybody else drops. But of course, they're ID controlled, so we can't use guns from the bad guys yet, but there is a way to unlock them later on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's move this guy out of the right way. Now. Put him next to the other one and have him, like, have a tea party. Oh man, I should have. But I moved him over here. I'm sorry. On hard mode. <sighs> this is why we gotta record live, man. I wish we could. Um, on hard mode, when you knock a guy out, he can only have a maximum of three stars over his head instead of, like, six five or six on normal. Well, if he were to, like, level up and uh, invest his skill points properly, he could have five stars. But he's, he's... All these guys are pretty bad at allocating skill points. Pretty bad. And... In here... Locker. Product placement! It is a Japanese energy drink called Regain. And it has... I, I thought it was, like... Off-brand Rogaine, like they had a <laughs> weird aging nope. mechanic. It's called, it's, oh, and we have a Arsenal Gear Compress. I don't know why it's Arsenal Gear themed, but you put these on Snake's back, because he has a bad back because he's old now, and if you do lots of rolling, eventually he'll he'll fuck up rolling. And <laughs> and so you put them on his back and he feels better. <laughs> yep. Also, I love this game so much. <laughs> look at this, crouch walking. It's so nice. It's so nice to have crouch walking, you don't even know. I think I'm gonna like this game. <laughs> uh, you gotta make Snake's back feel better. Well hey, there's a couple of really some even better things coming up in a little bit. Such as there's a little Easter egg over here. Those men are naked. They are naked men. I, let's be a naked feel awkward. Let's be a naked man along with them. We can we can hop up here and uh well, you can you can disguise itself as a statue, and don't well, don't do it three times. Don't do it a third time. Uh oh. Yep. <laughs> you didn't see that. I'm, I'm glad that you know it's it's censored, so the parents' television council doesn't get it up in arms or anything. A criticism I've seen a lot of MGS4 is that it's too serious of a game. Compared to the other really? years, with 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 the junk grabbing, and you gotta make Snake's back feel comfy and warm. Yep, and uh, I'll, again, there's in just a little bit another example of why this game is not serious at all. Press the crawl button while running to execute a roll. 
Rolling can help you dodge enemy attacks. Out of con. I'm, do I'm doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm the one that's playing out of con. Quit. Stop let's playing out of con. Out of con probably does do let's play. <laughs> What game would Arakan do? Something anime, obviously. He would play Zone of the Enders. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, why didn't I think of it before? Yeah. And did it just wait for this guy to run, walk past us here? Somebody's got to do a test post of Zone of the Enders <laughs> LP in character as Arakan. You can hold guys up, and now when you hold them up, they drop their guns. But do they do the shimmy shake? Uh, they can, and... You can pat them down, and this is how you can get like secret items or just like better weapons by patting them down. Oh, hey, you're the Israeli military. Yeah, and you can do this. That's rude. This game is so goddamn serious. Playboy. Yeah, more they, product placement. Here's it's a not Playboy. Just magazine anymore. They got a license. Actually, the magazines in MGS3 were also Playboys. It's just harder to notice because oh. they weren't labeled Playboy, but. Let's look through this Playboy. Oh, hey! I watched your TV show. Yeah. So, yep, you can look through the Playboy and it makes Snake feel better. This, it actually has gameplay effects. Hey, hey, hey. That's the most epic music hey. ever played over a Playboy. Hey, hey, I'm gonna fuse into you. Come here. Come, come, come here. Oh, we're doing it! We shall be oh. one! Dang it. You can also use the stun knife, like if a guy's knocked out but he only has like two, one or two stars. You can zap him on the butt again, and he'll be. It'll Does it have reset. to be on the butt, or is that just for us? It's just for us. Okay. You just zap him anywhere, and it re it resets their their knocked out star thing. Now he'll never wake up ever. He's just encased in a locker tomb. But here's. You'd, There's that bar. You'd think anybody who had heard of Solid Snake would be <laughs> using smaller lockers than that. So stamina's back. It's that second bar that's in four segments. And there's also stress. Being in the heat, doing other stuff like being in combat, being caught makes your stress go up. The higher your stress percentage is, the faster your stamina, what's now called psyche, decreases. Uh -huh. Um, You can do a bunch of stuff to make your stress lower, and the lower your psyche is, the faster your stamina, or the lower your stress is, the faster your stamina regenerates. Um, you can do stuff like just listening to the iPod, that makes his stress go up slower. Using the back compress makes him feel better. Hiding in the box, smoking cigarettes, eating rations and other food or energy drinks. Being Solid Snake makes Solid Snake feel Pretty better. Pretty much! Being Solid Snake <laughs> makes his stress go down. <laughs> also, just standing in the shade makes the stress go down. Or just being in any environment where it's where it's cooler. D does doing your best Muhammad Ali impression make your stress go down? What was that? No. That, that's, that's just what he does when he's got his knife ready. He just, he just holds up his fists. Otacon, I'm Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> look, look! Make Sonny watch. I'm gonna try to be in Punch Out Wii too. I gotta be in it. I gotta be in it. I got nothing else in life. I gotta be in Punch Out Wii too. I gotta. You also have to crawl because there's one guy you can kind of see through that that barred window over there, and if you just run through there, he'll he'll always see it pretty much. He's a jerk. Why is there gotta be one attentive guy on the entire battlefield? Surprisingly, on on hard mode at least. These guys can see really, really far, like all the way across the map almost, if there's nothing in their way. Can binoculars bloom on the battlefield? Maybe. The proper conditions. A little bit of love. Yes. There's another guy over there. On... For this... Well, they did in a couple others. Or, in at least two and three. But... It's really noticeable in this game, when you go up uh, in higher difficulties, they add a lot more guards. Um, the guards in this area are pretty much doubled from, from normal mode. <laughs> there, there are a lot of guards in this beginning area. If I was playing this game, I'd still be in the intro cutscene. <laughs> Snake would still be talking <laughs> about war. He just, he just knows you're new. 
and he's just gonna know not to let me push buttons. There's another guy over that by that doorway. But if we climb up in here, there's some new items. There's yet another Playboy. There's two other things here. We got what? What can their circulation be like in unnamed Middle Eastern country? I don't know. But we got instant noodles again, returning from MGS3. Except this time, they, they are Hideo Kojima brand instant noodles. It's a, it's a weird thing about a series going out of order like that and having a prequel in the middle. <laughs> is that game features tend to time warp in weird ways. <laughs> yeah, just like CQC, you know? Whoa. Whoa. Can smooth jazz bloom on the battlefield? This is a remix of the song that plays at the end of MGS2. Look at that, there's four guys right there. Just doing their little dance. do -si does can bloom on the battlefield. What's a mattress doing here? I don't know. It was a house. It probably had a mattress at some point. Can you hide behind the mattress? No, but you could press up against the mattress and get mattress camo. You've got to get mattress camo! Well, the thing is, later on we have, we'll get the ability, like next video, we get the ability to save camouflage. So yeah, ne next video I'm going to go back and uh, save mattress camo. Along with a couple others that are really hilarious. Remember that time I taught you how to become the Shocker? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to do that in this LP. We, Snake is going to become, at least for one video, he's going to become the Shocker. It's awesome. One of my favorite camos in the whole game. Whoop. Nope, time to hide in a dumpster. That should make your stress go up pretty quick, I'd imagine. Yeah, it goes up. Oh, okay, good. It's smelly in there. It is pretty smelly. Well, we're waiting for those other guys to move on. Let's call Otacon. Snake, where are you now? Trash can. A trash can? <sighs> Looks like this is where they dump their household trash. Huh. How can you tell? Because it stinks in here. Bad. Leftovers from last night's dinner, probably. Ugh, leftovers. Mm, and there's some... Bugs crawling around on my face. It feels like roaches. There's a whole bunch of them scurrying around. Make sure you get the smell of them off you before coming back here. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Ugh, seriously, doesn't it make you sick? I'd crawl into a toilet if it kept me out of sight. Something crawling up my leg. I can't even imagine. Ugh. You know, you might want to get out of there as soon as the coast is clear. Yeah. Not the best place for a nap. No kidding. Whoop. Well, those guys left. You can also lift up the, the, the top. And if you have a pistol, you, you can shoot the pistol while still hiding in the, in the dumpster. Yes. Oh. Do oh. Caution mode because that guy knocked out like three minutes ago woke up. Oh. oh well. to keep you waiting, Snake. Allow me to introduce Metal Gear Mark II. Metal Gear? That's right. Just like Rex. But this gear's not a weapon. It's a remote mobile terminal designed to provide you with operational support. Where are you? I'm in the Nomad. Where else? I'll be watching you through the Mark II. Mm, wish I was good with gadgets. Hey, I'll be with you in spirit. Anyway, because you had to dress up as a militiaman, I had the Mark II bring you some goodies. Starting with this. Put it on your left eye. Looks like an eye patch. 
I call it the Solid Eye. It's an all-purpose goggle that displays radar images and other data in 3D. You can also switch it over to light amplifying night vision. Rebels are out there. It looks like they've got the government's PMC troops beat, at least in numbers. And this is their own turf. Snake, I know this is a sneaking mission, but you'll need to protect yourself. Uh. Uh. An operator. I installed a suppressor. And here's a tranquilizer gun. Oh, how thoughtful. It predates the implementation of the system. By some miracle, it was never recycled. It's getting tough these days finding decent guns that aren't controlled. Follow you wherever you go, like this. I'll activate stealth so it doesn't attract any attention. If you need it, just bring up the start button menu. Got it. Snake, the informants who said they saw a liquid here should be a little further up. Head for the rendezvous point. I've placed a mark on the radar in the upper right corner of the solid eye. It's a war zone out there. Stay on your toes. Oh. 